Welcome to another Elden Ring guide. My name is Neil Aus, and we are going to look at a hidden, not really, but a locked off area, There's some an, a forgotten area. When you started the game, you went to a tutorial, you found this fog gate, and you were like, eh, whatever. Um, and then you moved on with your life and forgot all about it. But it's time for us to come back. We need two of these uh, sh uh, stone sword keys to unlock it. And I would recommend being around level 45 to 50. By the time you try it, this is uh, very tough. And it's actually, so far for me, it's the toughest fight in the game. Now, poison, because it wouldn't be a Miyazaki game without poison. If you run, don't roll and run, then you can get to safety without uh, getting poisoned. So keep that in mind. You have to run and you have to not roll. Then you can get to safety and you don't need to cure your poison. If you start off this with poison, it's just bad time. This one is going to kill you in one shot, so don't do that. Uh, we are going to go in here. And I can run in. There are alcoves on the right and left, left and right side. I run out to the second alcove, and you can see we can only barely make it. And as the pass pass, we're gonna go into here, go into the next alcove where there's someone waiting that we have to kill. And there's another coming on the other side that we also have to kill. There. Now the important part is you have to wait, and I didn't really show this here. Um, you have to wait until the big contraption thing is at the end and about to start heading upwards if you do that you have all the time in the world to, to run i forgot to pick it up we'll pick it up next time because we have to go this way three times through this three times so here's the t intersection i choose to go up first because that's the easiest part uh it's not a clean fight we have up here so uh, just you i'm sure you can do it better it's an easy fight and I totally underestimated. Anyway, uh, just ignore all of this. There's nothing here. There's no uh, goodies or anything you need to get. You just need to get up before the big contraption comes after you. So here is a single uh, guy waiting. And uh, well, I've tried this before, so I know that I can stagger lock him. So just go in, get your flaming sword or whatever, and just uh, wail away. Should be an easy one. You can get him at down. Oops, he blocked. And things start going way downhill from there. And I'm like, okay, just one more hit. Come on, just one more hit and then run out of stand up. But anyway, I'm sure you can do it better. So now maybe let's try and do it better. There we go. The end result is the same. Kill him, easy fight. Um, you get a dragon communion seal, which is buffing dragon spells, I think. And you get some dragon rot, dragon wound grease. Now we teleport back to the start because it uh, means it also resets the big trap concept contraption thing. And uh, then we know exactly how it's going to behave. And that's the... The most important part. So this is the second run through of this location. Come on, buddy, go. And uh, again, the more important part, you can run through this without taking damage. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna run through this and then we'll be running into the main boss fight of this area, but not the hardest boss fight of this area. So let's run on through. This time we take the left one heading downwards and again here there is i think there's one thing uh, on on the ground that we need to pick up but as i've not there are just some random ghosts spawning don't bother with them you can go into the side and start finding them and uh, if you do that the contraption will catch up with you and you have a much e more difficult time but if you just run straight through you get all the way down here and then you're now into safety and lo and behold a boss gate one of them just came up so let's uh, take take care of you before going into the boss fight all right so you go into the boss fight and get ready this is a, uh, a big tree spirit really weird and let's get some wolves to uh, hop on this and uh, let's try to find a corner that we can get it so this fight is extremely chaotic because it's difficult to see when it's just reorganizing and when it is actually for example tail swiping and generally just if it looks like it lunges at you roll and that's what i did no preparation or anything just that looked like a jump so i just roll through it i'm going to focus on my two-handed i'm not going to be blocking this tank anything two-handed charge attacks with flaming weapons is a really good way to get things knocked down and get some critical attacks in and that's exactly what we're doing oh that one that looks like something you want to go away for yes indeed and then that is definitely something you don't want to be hit by that giant mouth and i go sort of under it then i don't get hit by the flames uh, if you don't have any any spirits to help then it gets a bit difficult because then you it's all of its attacks are focused on you and you have less time to actually do these 
massively good chance attacks. And we got to knock down the second time. It's really helping a lot this one. 200 plus 700. Yeah, that's a good, good bit of damage we're getting here. And now my fire has to run out. And we are just wailing away just to get the last bits. It, it's moving around a lot, but it's really hard to see what's actually moving. See there? We didn't take any damage. And now I'm going underneath it so I don't get hit by the flames. And we take it out. So it is extremely mm, chaotic, but not that difficult. And we get a golden seed, that's always nice, and a banished knight Oleg, is, which is, I'm, I'm, I have no idea if it's good because it's way too expensive for me to go. And then we can go back, and uh, basically when we go back, we don't get our uh, flask renewed, so I just uh, reload it again so that we get our flask renewed and reset the contraption. It's very important to reset the contraption because, before we go in for the third time. This third time is by far the hardest and like obscenely hard, at least for me, but uh, maybe it's difficult for you. And uh, we will be again, just running through this uh, again, uh, waiting for this. Uh, here we're going to do something else. Now for this run, uh, this last third run through this, you have to be really careful not to take any damage and not use any potion or any flasks because you're gonna need every single little flask and every sliver of life for the fight if you decide to fight if you don't want to fight it that's totally fine and you can also avoid it there's no reason to fight it except for sort of the sheer principle and a bit of casual masochism here yeah, just wait for it to start heading upwards and then we can run down so when we ran down here before we saw that there was a point where the where it narrowed here you can actually drop down on a little ledge right there and fall to safety. And then we are into a new area, the third area of this uh, location. So we need to... Here again, I'm playing extremely careful because I want to make sure that I do not accidentally take any more damage or any damage at all. So use the shield head uh, a lot. Uh, coming up on this is... Uh, this is something uh, you're probably going to step in this trap unless you know it's there. If you go down here, I'm going to change to my crossbow, you can see that flame turret there and it'll start blasting you as soon as you go down the stairs. So if we stand here, we can... Yeah, okay, well not like that. Get it to two hand. Come on. Yeah, we go. Two hander. And we shoot it and it lowers and we are now safe. We can continue without getting blasted by flames. Oh, here's the side path. There's always one someone hit, hidden here. Sorry about the lack of light. And now there's also a side path that doesn't really have anything there. But uh, hey, for the sense of completeness, we take everything out here. There's one hanging on the ceiling because, of course, there's always one hanging on the ceiling. So take that one out first. The other one hasn't aggroed yet. And boom. And counter. Good stuff. That's countered. And then we can go in and take the last one here. I'm again just being super careful not to take any damage. And there we go. That one's dead. Looted, it. I got a smithing stone one. Nothing particularly interesting. I'm just like, are you sure there's nothing in here? No, no, nothing, nothing. Okay, moving on. Now we come up to the really, really difficult fight. But you don't have to fight it. So um, let's go in and have a look at the at this location. This is the final part of it. And uh, the problem is, it is this room. So I'm going to be buffing up with some turtle meat, just because any buff you have, if you have Runark, maybe use it. I don't actually use it. And here's the point. you have There's a ledge down there that you can jump to, and that's what you should be doing. Here's a little bit of loot. I'm going to do the fight, but you can go up forward, grab the loot. You wait here until that the graft design falls down. You can grab the loot, and you can run back over the ledge. You can see there's a second graft design at the end, so you have to fight two of them. And that makes this a pretty difficult fight. But uh, you don't need to fight it because you can grab this one. This is an insanely good uh, talisman, so definitely want to take that. And then I'm just fighting my way, trying to find the opportunities we can abuse it. And I am somehow able to get, actually get a knockdown. That's so rare that we get a knockdown. But uh, hey, let's not say uh, say no to that. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth if we actually get the down. And then I get, as always, a bit over uh, <laughs> a bit. Careless when we are almost out of almost getting something killed. Come on, do something that we can counter. This is the worst one. That one, yeah, just kill it <laughs> as it raises. All right, so when you uh, pick up the earth tree's favor, fervor, 
you can go into the corner, run around, go towards the other side, roll, 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 and jump down on the ledge. I'm going to decide to fight this, and if you choose to, then by all means, enjoy yourself with that. But you're probably the, the worst part of it is that the corpse one is insanely long, so you're probably not going to make it in the first try. But anyway, that is uh, how we are going to do it. Uh, again, I'm just trying to figure out if we have some opportunities where we can get some... I mean, there are some... That's a good one. Definitely want to take that and then roll under and then you can do a charge attack. And still run away. That one, the double, the double double slash, you can roll, roll, and then you get in there. Uh, the f the shout is something when it's on the, in the front, then you take a lot of damage. So if you go to the side, you can actually punish it. But it's difficult. These benches are going to be the death of me, aren't they? So it's really... That one is definitely something you could have done something. And I'm kind of stuck here. So there, there's an opportunity for punish, but I couldn't use it because I will need it to heal. Let's look for anything. I have to be careful. I only have three flasks left. And then, of course, my uh, physics. And jumping, this is a good one. You roll in and you can get a charge attack. It's something. Shouting. And we just wait. These multi slashes, those ones, they're just. I it, it, just don't deal with it. You can parry some of it, but I try to go in here and that's not a good idea. Uh, that is the giant squirrely thing, so just run the hell away. It's really difficult to avoid all of them. You can also punish, but it's really difficult. And, and I'm really, really careful not rolling off the ledge as well, so things are difficult. Uh, the lack of, lack of maneuvering space here makes this fight extremely difficult. And the fact you have to take two of them at once. Alright, come on. Give us some opening. How good. Just going in. And uh, that one is a perfect opportunity to punish or get hit twice. I'm trying to stay in here. Even though I have to jump up on the ledge. Up and down on the ledge all the time. Instead of rolling close to the edge. Because I am going to roll off the ledge. Okay, I'm just tr trying anything I can. That is a good one. And for some reason I decide that's how I want to do it. But hey, do a bit of damage. Yep. <clears throat> and that is bad because that's the big swirly swirly. So let me run away. And we don't really have any... A lot, a lot of healing left. But it's almost dead. That's good. And jump. Roll under it. And get... A, I just go for a few attacks. And get a greedy again when it's almost dead. As always, I'm almost dying from... From, well, honestly, stupidity. And now it's raising its hand, and I decide that, no, that's a million stabby stabbies. Alright, anyway, that was also a bit of a how to do deal with these when you're woefully undergeared. Uh, we're not in a good shape. No flask left, no physical flask left, and there is one more fight, and that fight is... It's, it looks really easy, but it's actually sort of a bit deceptive. But now we can... You don't have to fight it, but I decided to do it. You just go over here, run off to the side, go on this ledge, and then from here on you can run down and jump down on the next ledge. Somehow that one, you could roll through it instead. Go down here, and then there's an elevator in here that will take us up, and maybe you see this if you run around yourself and uh, wonder how am I going to get up there. But there's an elevator here, just step on it and we get all the way up. Should probably have used the light, shouldn't I? But anyway, just one more fight left. And it's easy. But we don't really have any hit points or anything, so that's fine. And we'll just go up. And uh, it looks like just a normal guy, but he actually has a really annoying moveset that can hurt a lot. So his moveset is he will do that thing, and then he'll do a jump. You really want to get not get hit by that one. And then punish a bit. These deal damage as well, and then... Absolutely don't get hit by the jump. And he'll just keep doing this and then look at that. Just and that's not even the good the big hit. And have to roll. And see if we can get it down before he decides to do any bullshit anymore. We got him. That's good. So we can get the last thing, which is basically refunding one of our keys we used to open this lock. And there we go. Every single bit of this area, the Fringe Folk Hero Grave, is now completed. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and consider, sub consider subscribing for more Elden Ring content here on the channel. Thanks for watching, take care, and stay effective.